Let's face it, everyone's sex drive runs out of gas every once in a while. Well, Mother Nature has more renewable energy than you imagine. Terry, excuse me, Terry Trespiccio, a senior editor of Body and Soul, has some natural supplements that can boost your libido. And she is with us this morning, Terry. That's right. Good to see you. Got me a little tongue tied here this morning. <laughs> now, we've always heard oysters are a great aphrodisiac, but I don't see yeah, those on the Oysters table. have been linked with romantic love for centuries, but yeah. unfortunately, the science is not really bearing up under that. <laughs> um, people who love oysters will say it gets them in a the mood because they love oysters, but there's a lot of zinc so in them. Yeah, but it's really more mental than anything else. So you got a couple of things right here. I we mean, have I the, a couple the foods here. Chocolate. Yep, there are a couple of foods here that do boost your, your libido a little mm -hmm. bit. One is chili peppers, yep. and that's because they're loaded with capsaicin, which increases blood flow and gets your heart pumping, gets you feeling a little warm, and these are all sounding very familiar. It kind yeah. of simulates a sexual response. So you talk about add getting a hot. Few to your meal. Yeah, it gotta, actually does physically, literally heat things up chocolate, dark chocolate, one of the great pleasure foods. Yeah. High in nitric oxide, which helps the production of certain hormones, which can also make you feel pretty good. You know, you want to have, you know, in maybe an ounce a day. Yeah, you know, exactly. you're not looking, if a little is good, more is not better. Too much so. chocolate, it becomes a love repellent. <laughs> right, love repellent, right. <laughs> and that's why it's important, too, to remember that one of the, the easiest aphrodisiacs is to exercise and actually boost your libido you big time. Yeah. We've got some pills here. Um, aphrodisiac in pill form, so yep. to speak. This is a uh, maca. Maca. We're going to start with two that are great and recommended for women and men. And, and okay. important to note that there are some contraindications for some of these medications. Okay. So you want to talk to your doctor first. Maca comes from, is also called Peruvian ginseng and is grown in the Andes. So uh, high in the Andes where the air is thin. And okay. so people need to feel a little stronger, stronger, it kind of kick their endurance and their stamina into gear. Okay. That's what maca does. It doesn't happen immediately. You take it as a tonic. After a couple weeks, you might start to feel a little more vivacious. Difference between, so it's a week that long. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Well, it depends, again, on the person. Schedule, folks. Schedule. Yeah, schedule in advance. Um, this stuff is not instantaneous. Yep. Uh, Mirapuama comes from Brazil, Brazilian rainforest tree, mm -hmm. and can actually also help stimulate testosterone production, may raise blood pressure. So mm -hmm. careful about that. You really do have to check with your doctors on all these. You really do. These I mean, they're you wanna... gentle. You can buy them over the counter but that doesn't mean they're not okay. potent. And the Damiana. For women in particular, Damiana has been used traditionally for women. And let's say most of these have been traditionally used for men because it's only recently that anyone really cared how women felt. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Damiana helps um, g give your libido a boost, much like progesterone, which imitates the feel of a female hormone. So that's one to try. And lastly... Just droplets. Droplets, Yohimbi, which is probably the world's most famous sexual stimulant. Really Be very stuff. careful with this. Too little, you won't feel anything. Too much, you might get a headache, anxiety, you know, so restlessness, sleeplessness. Heart rate goes up? Yes, so you want to be really careful about taking it. But, <laughs> Speaking of like somebody's um, tried this stuff, but I have not. Well, as you, as you know, Chris, <laughs> it makes you a little nervous. Here's a couple drops in there. You want to give it a try? A little sip, see how it makes you feel? <laughs> the crew just backed up 10 feet. <laughs> <laughs> it will, see how it tastes. Mm. It's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it's really well, it does work right away on your nervous system, so you want to be careful about that. But again, all of these are good to try, but in the short term. Great, Terry. Thank you so much. Good to see you <laughs> once you. again.